go to selection mode modeling and then if you select cube grid and this is for for building with sort of little blocks it uses a push pull system so the pull system is um, E if you press E on the keyboard now wherever you place the, the little yellow square whatever side of you place it on that that's where it will start building each time you press E it'll, it'll build if you use Q that sort of deletes it so it's it's just a push and pull it's very very simple if you just watch for this little red arrow down, down the left hand side it shows there's one one block each time you push or pull it does one block I've changed that to 10 so you'll see there on our when I pull it's it's done 10 and then another 10 so it do it in increments of 10 I'll change that to 100 and you'll see it'll, it'll I'll do a, a pull and it'll just shoot them up by 100 straight away and then I'll, I'll use Q and delete them in one go so that's how you alter the, the size that, that you push or pull now you can resize the square on the on the size of the blocks that you're going to build so if you're holding Control or CTRL and you press either E or Q, you'll resize the cube smaller or bigger. So I'm just just going to quickly resize a few, and I'll just show you. You can go very very small. I think it, I think this goes down one more. You've got to to zoom in. So will it go smaller? Yeah, one one more. I think that's the, the last one. Just build that up a little bit, yeah. So it's tiny that one, and then you can obviously go bigger as well. I think I can go bigger than that. So that's your your resizing, holding Control and press E or Q to go bigger or smaller. So with the grid, you're just basically holding the left mouse button, and you you can just drag it to any size and start building straight away. So I'll just show a quick wall, I'll just drag a line, press E a few times and it builds it up. I'll jump it up in increments of 10. So you'll see now each time I pull it will go up 10 at a time. It's quite uh, easy simple stuff really. Ok we'll have a look at changing the colour. So if you go to materials, you'll just see a little arrow point there. That drop down box and whatever selections you have in there. Um, you pick one of those and as you start building uh, pulling with the E button it, the colour will show up on the on the cube as you, as you drag it so I'll change, I'll do a white white one, I'll do another another area and just the same as you, you, you build as you press E in any direction it will show that that colour I'll change, I'll try this uh, brick effect it's, it's not really the right size for, for that but it just shows uh, how easy it is to do this so I'll just resize the cube a little bit and I'll just build a, a little tiny edge around this pillar just put the, the yellow box on whichever direction you want it to go in as I turn around there and you just build each side and that's that done that's changing colour on blocks this is corner mode so I'll have to build something up first to add a corner you press Z or Z when you need to uh, use the corner mode so first of all I'll build I'll build that section out right highlight just hold the left mouse button in and highlight the area and then press Z Z on the keyboard and you'll see four little dots will appear on each corner now by me taking out those two right hand dots you just press them and you, you can add them on or off and then press your E button for pull and it will move the corner out if you, if you press Q again for push it will move it back I'll just do a smaller one sometimes you have to zoom in closer with when when, uh, when you're looking at those little dots I'll also add a ramp at the front, so I'll highlight this front area. I press Z. I'll get the four little dots, and you can you can highlight the dots on or off. You can do them if you if you play around and mess around. You can do all kinds of shapes. But as you can see, I'm pushing E, and it's pulling the ramp out. If I press Q, it pushes it back. You can go all the way back if you want and um, and delete it. 
I'll just have a, a quick play around. I'll, I'll build up a, a wall and then I'll, I'll, I'll highlight and use Q and that will that'll punch a hole through. And we'll just add some corners up here, just just to take away the square edges. So I've, I'll just highlight those two blocks. Press C, you get the four dots. It's, it's sometimes it's just getting the the ones right. If if you if you highlight the wrong dots, the angle might go in the the corner. It might go in a different direction. So you just um, do the opposite. Use Q, and you'll delete what you've just done. Turn the dots back on and turn off the other dots. You, you'll get there if you just have a play around. They usually go one way or the or the other. And if if you instead of doing top or bottom, if you do left side or right side, the corner will go the opposite way. But if you if you start pressing E and you push the corner out, and it's going the wrong direction, like I said, just press Q, and it'll just take it away again, and then readjust the dots. I'll just put a, a ramp in here. It's just just an example of playing around. It's all basic stuff. It looks quite ugly, but when you get advanced, you can go really really tiny with the cube, and you can put lots and lots of detail in. It looks really good. I'm just going to show a little bit more on these um, corners. I'll drag this out, and it's leaving like a, a sort of a void there. Now this is a real easy fix. It's it's only you only have to click one one of the dots. But I'm going to show you if you get things wrong and, and things start going the opposite way. I'll take this one out. You'll see it'll point in the wrong direction. So I'm using E to pull. I'll just press Q. And I'll just push it back. If I take out these side ones, it'll again it'll go in the wrong direction. If you mess around, you can probably get some some uh, unique shapes. It's actually all I needed to do was I'll put these back, and I just need to to tap that one one dot at the top. So I'll do these again on on the other one. Just highlight this area. And as you'll see, it's just just one click. Uh, press Z to get those dots on. It's just that top one there, and that's that done. I'll show you again. This this is just exactly the same, but it's a, it's a slightly bigger cube. You just just uh, tap that one dot up there, and that fills that in. I'm gonna have to split this up into two parts because this is getting rather long. And there's there's some other uh, other things that I want to show for for the cube grid. There I'm just moving different ones, it, taking on and off different dots, and it was just showing you it going different directions. This was um, just a square box type thing that I made up. I'm just going to pull this down down the corner there, so you can see you can there's different ways of filling in the corners. That's that's the wrong way. That's rather ugly. This one should fill that corner in. If you go too far down, you can you can go back one. I'll just drag this along the wall. I'll I'll show you if I, if I do it the wrong way first. Press Z, and this will push it out the wrong way. So I'll just press Q to go back, and I'll swap those over. And you see this will this will drag it down. It'll across the ceiling. It looks a little bit better. Drag this across, and I'll do the same on the on the top of the other the other side. I went on a little bit too long with the corner mod, so I'm going to stop this, and I'll find some other information. There's other things to talk about with CubeGrid, and I'll do a part two.